I'm going to turn my notebook LM into a second brain so that you can do the same. Now, if you're anything like me, you've got information sitting everywhere. You've got lists of bookmarks and tools sitting around that you promised you'd remember and come back to. You've got YouTube playlist saves of stuff you absolutely must watch. You've got notes in your Google Notekeep calendar. You've got, I've already built a second brain on Notion, but information still gets lost. I've even tried using ClickUp for my content ideas. And to be honest, none of it quite works because my information is scattered around everywhere and it's never actually at my fingertips when I need it. I always think I'll come back and remember this information or oh, I better save that bit of gold. But when it comes to creating content or even just coming up with dinner ideas, I've lost all that information somewhere in my notes and my bookmarks. And guys, as you follow along, any prompts I use are usually in my mega prompt chest. There's a link in the description below where you can get this from, you know, prompts from deep target SEO opportunity finders, forensic psychology analysis, programmatic SEO templates, lead magnets, all sorts of things in here for you to grab down in the description. So I've got myself a blank notebook LM here and I'm just going to create a new notebook just to get started. But just to show you where we're starting off, we're starting completely blank so that we can work out how to do this and then you can do the same thing as we go. Now, the problem is I've got a lot of information everywhere and I need to get it into the right areas of Notebook LM. So I think I want to start actually by getting all my bookmarks in here so that they're not only findable, but I can easily question and understand the sources as well. So when I'm looking for something, I don't have to keep digging around and trying to work out what tool does what, I can just ask Notebook LM. So I'm just going to start with one called bookmarks and get my most important bookmarks in there and almost start not having to use my built-in web browser one, which is still quite inefficient because I've got filing system upon filing system. So you can see here, this is actually, I have this bookmark bar called tech stack, which gets everything I need, all the different tools I use to run my SEO and AI consultancy, plus tools to test that I love to use on YouTube and all that sort of thing. But when I want to do a top seven list, of the best AI marketing tools, I have to dig through, pick through them individually to try and work things out. Well, we're going to solve that today. Now, I'm thinking off the start, I wonder if we can just copy and paste. We can probably just copy and paste into Notebook LM. When you open up a new notebook in Notebook LM, you get different options here as a way to add sources that then you can rely on later. So you can see you can do Google Docs, Google Slides, website, YouTube, and copy text. So we're actually going to put a website in here. It looks like we can actually put in multiple websites in here. Let's just see if we put one in, we should be able to start seeing some of these sources come up. Now, the problem is they're coming up with uh, the wrong name. We don't actually get a list of the tools, so we can actually rename the source. And this one is called Pulse AI. But there's got to be a quicker way to actually do this. So I'm thinking we can actually do this in bulk rather than have to do this one on one. So I'm thinking there must be a Chrome add on uh, for Notebook LM to bulk add um, URLs, which seems here we have Notebook LM Web Importer and multiple YouTube URLs. We don't want YouTube URLs at the moment, although we will do in a minute. Let's try this one click extension that hopefully should speed up the process for us. So it looks like we can do a bulk import. So we'll see if we can get this working with our bookmarks here. So we'll try this bulk import. Okay, we can add. Uh, looks like if we wanted to pay, we could pay for pro, pro users to add all of our browser links and YouTube playlists. So that could be a neat little way to do it. But I think for now, we'll just open up all these tabs. And what we'll do is we'll just do a big bulk import. So we can add multiple URLs with separate or space on a new line. Only visible text will be imported. Paid articles are not supported. So we can just go through and add these in really quickly. Okay, so I've gone through and added in all of that first set of bookmarks in here. So we're actually going to turn this into our first set of bookmarks, which is great. We can see stuff is actually coming out quite nicely on the left here, SEMrush, Score App. So the titles are actually coming out really nicely, just like they do in the bookmarks, which is awesome. And it's got about 28 of them in there. So we've got plenty more room for more as well. But what's cool, let's try it out. We could actually say something like, what are my top apps for content writing? And we should be able to get a list of our top 10 apps in our bookmarks that you can use for content writing. Great for if you're writing listicles on this, or if we just want to find stuff really quickly. But you can see as well, we can scroll down just like they would be in bookmarks to actually find something and click it. Koala RI, we can get a quick summary of what it does and uh, test it out like that and go and use that tool, which is a good one, by the way. Or as well as we could say, like, what are my top apps for writing? We could say, if you had a, we could ask it if we had a particular task we wanted to solve, say, like, I want to make infographics, what tools do I have for this? We could go and ask it that and it would be able to pull out some tools, but we've got actually, which is really nice. I've now already got a 
an answer to my top apps for content writing, Koala AI, AO Focus. We've got Neuron Writer, SEMrush, Relevance AI. These are all tools that I have in my bookmark, so I probably use them. Content research and planning. They all come out really nicely if we're doing content creation for my YouTube videos. Or down the bottom, we actually asked it, what do we ask it? We said, I want to make infographics. It's come away and said, hey, you want to use PictoChart for that particular job. So if you've got a particular job, you're not sure which tool to use, now we can start going through our bookmarks or whatever bookmarks you want to start using in that way. Um, you can start questioning to find the right source of information for what you've got. So that's the first thing I wanted to build. That's my bookmarks bar, which we can keep adding to, keep adding to. The second one I wanted to do was actually, I make a lot of notes and all that information gets lost in my notebook. So we won't add a folder straight away because I've got a better plan of how I think I can achieve this one. Let's say, actually, I want a particular notebook as my writing swipe file. Particularly good if you do any sort of content writing, copywriting, ad generation, you want inspiration. You need to be able to save other people's great work and make that accessible at the same time. So you can see uh, we had Keep Notes open, didn't we? Which is where I do a lot of my note taking on my Android phone. You can see some of the stuff in here. Let you have a little look in my writing swipe file and sort of stuff I, I save, like great phrases and analogies, um, or my juicy word bank when I want a really great word for something I'm writing or creating. Now, interestingly, we can use this little three dots on the bottom. We can copy to Google Docs. We could also just say make a copy and copy and paste it. But what I actually really want to do is grab my phone because I do a lot of note keeping on my phone. Like a lot of people, you can see I've got keep notes on my phone here. Now there is a selection on here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but when you open a note, there's the three bot there's the three dots at the bottom of the screen there. You can actually hit those three dots and it gives you the option to press send. When you hit send, you can say copy to Google Docs again, or you can send via other apps. If you hit send via other apps and you scroll down um, or you have Notebook LM installed on your phone, you'll see that you can actually select Notebook LM there as an app. And when you hit that button, it opens up Notebook LM for you so that you can actually add it to your writing swipe file. So if we hit that there, we should see on our Notebook LM screen here in our, yes, there we go. We've got some of our writing swipe file on here. If we open that up, we'll see all these different quotes that I've saved. So we could just rename this source as uh, quotes and great bits of writing that I've saved. And then we could actually ask it again. Now we've got these notes and you say, I know there's a lot of motivational quotes in here and I'm writing my newsletter and I want motivational quotes. We could say, what are some motivational quotes? And it's going to be able to dig through our sources and add all of these in. So you can see it's pulled some, some things out here. Be a man who can lose everything and say, I'll figure it out. It's 2025. The bar is so low. Don't crawl under it. These are all things that now I've got access to all of my thoughts and notes and other quotes I've saved through Notebook LM. So we can go through here. So we can go through here and actually go through and just quickly add more of my writing swipe files, for example, and ideas. We can send them through into Notebook LM. If we go back onto the main screen here, you'll see we've got all of these notes now in here, which is really awesome. I can reference all of this stuff. So we've got bookmarks and we've got writing swipe file. I could actually augment this writing swipe file with, if I wanted to use it particularly for my newsletter, we could start adding my favorite newsletter examples or we'll start actually writing within the swipe file and question it to find out some of these um, examples that I've saved or ideas that I've come up with. But I'm happy with that for the moment. Now, the other thing I wanted to do was actually build out, get my YouTube playlists in here, get all sorts of content in here to build this out much more. Now, I've just found as well, this is Notebook LM YouTube Turbo. This is a slightly different Chrome extension to the one I found before, but this is actually gold because we can actually go and grab all of our URLs in a playlist, like our watch history or our watch later playlist. This is one I've got called the gold, which just has some epic youtube videos in for my business we can actually just go onto this page and it can extract all the urls and import them into notebook lm and now we've scraped all of these urls this is a really quick way to do it actually i love this we scrape those urls we go to notebook lm we hit this youtube button on our sources on our notebook you see we can paste and insert and again youtube paste insert and it's just going to get it done really quickly for us now we can actually do all sorts of things. We can do audio overviews. If there's a particular set or a particular playlist, I could create a whole notebook in LM about this and get an audio overview that 
actually sums up all of the information for all of the experts on these topics, or we can create briefing docs, study guides, as well as just find this information really easily. Like, hey, what was the top ways to prompt AI from that Stanford professor video? And hopefully it's going to be able to go through all of our sources and find out that kind of stuff that I was talking about rather than finding the video and, you know, digging through, finding that section. It should be able to pull it out for us. Yeah, here we go. It's found the name, Jeremy Utley. Great video on his top ways to prompt AI. And boom, here it goes. Don't ask. Treat it as a teammate, um, role-playing, prompt for volume and variation. I don't really have to go through and find that again. It's all here ready at my fingertips when I'm, oh, I was writing that newsletter about how to prompt AI. What was that thing that Jeremy Utley said? I can just go into Notebook LM, start finding this information really, really quickly now. So we've got a few notebooks built out now. We've got the bookmarks that we're starting to add in. We've got our writing swipe file. We've got this YouTube playlists that we're building in here. I can put them all in one or I could create separate playlists. Um, there's other things you can do with Notebook LM. You can hit this Discover Sources and there's a new feature that I've just found, which is Google Drive. So it can go and find in my google drive all information about a particular client or a particular type of subject i'm working on or we could actually find sources from the web so we could say like maybe i want to build out a great resource about restaurants and cafes near me so that i don't have to sit and think about what cafe or what restaurant we should go to on saturday night we can just find all this stuff out so we could actually say like best restaurants in cornwall which is my local county, and see what it comes up with. So it's going to actually get us our top 10 list. I don't have to go and read through all these blogs now. It's going to get everything for us. I can actually go into my Notion workbook here. I've got this areas tab, which is eats and drinks in here of some of my favorite restaurants. So I can go through and maybe start adding some of these in, like the Verdant Brewing that I love to go to to grab some pizza. We could start adding this website in to our notebook LM. We can grab that. We can add that source in really easily. Remember, we can drop the website in there. And now we've got all these sources in here. We can start asking it questions again about like, where's a great place to get pizza this evening in Cornwall? Where's a great place to get pizza this evening in Cornwall? We can go and get a summary really quickly. No more shifting through Google Maps or trying to come up with recipes. Get everything in here in nice ordered fashion. And we've got a list Falmouth, Newquay, Falmouth, Polzeth, really easy. So honestly, like if you start building these areas of your life and work out, it's going to make it so much easier to find and use all of this information, whether you're a content creator, whether you just want to use Notebook LM for more like bookmarks to make it easier to find information. If you're a chronic reader and saving things from all around the web that you want to reference that information later, but you forget, you can then just question Notebook LM to find it. You can do it for areas of your life, restaurants, you can do it for YouTube videos, writing swipe files to get all this information at your fingertips. And I'm certainly going to be building this out more and more and more to actually create this sort of second brain knowledge base in Notebook LM and using this tool a lot more heavily to find the stuff I need when I need it in my life.